למעלה משני מיליון ישראלים יצאו לפני כחצי שנה והצביעו במשאל העם האמיתי, הבחירות. הם הצביעו בעד רפורמה משפטית. As part of ongoing pro and anti-reform protests, tens of thousands of Israelis demonstrated in Jerusalem on Thursday to show support for the planned judicial reform. This is the second pro-reform demonstration held in Jerusalem. The first took place about a month ago on the evening Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu announced a halt in legislation. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu commented, saying, I am deeply moved by the tremendous support of the national camp that came to Jerusalem tonight in masses. All of us 64 mandates that brought the win are first-class citizens. You warmed my heart, and I thank each and every one of you. The message is that in Am Israel is high and Kayam and no one and no one has the right to tell our government what to do or to interfere in our internal affairs of the country. We have a prime minister. So we are here to say there is only one Am, one Hashem. We love everyone and we want just the best. According to the Torah and the mitzvot, we love you. You're our brothers and we love you. Justice Minister Yariv Levine said the two million Israelis who voted for the current government voted in favor of judicial reform and vowed to make a meaningful correction in the current situation. And just two days later on Saturday night, tens of thousands of Israelis took to the streets protesting against the planned judicial reform for the 17th week in a row. This week's protest is seen of higher significance since it's held two days ahead of the opening of the Knesset summer session and two days after the largest pro-reform demonstration in Jerusalem. And every protester, either on the pro or anti side, has their own agenda. So I'm here to demonstrate uh, with my husband, my two kids, uh, because Israel is changing. Uh, and the democracy we have today and uh, the economic uh, thriving we have today is thanks to what it is right now. There is equal opportunities for everyone, for men, for women. Um, and uh, if the things will happen as they, the government can change it right now, this will not be the case. And I want my kids have to have a good future here.